How's it going, you beautiful sons again? So my name's the Dapper Saint, and welcome to One Shot. I had several people ask me to play this game, and I think it's only fair that I play it for you beautiful sons of guns. I said a lot about the fact of not wanting to do many Let's Plays of series anymore, but then I thought to myself that I actually really liked the community aspect of it, so I thought, why not? Also, uh, I don't remember a single thing about this game. I came to realize that one of my excuses was, oh, I've played this before in the past. I know that that character's name is Nico, and that's all I remember. Anyways, without further ado... Let's start this up. Also, this is the Steam version, which is different than the original version that I played long before. Dedicated to our beloved friend Felix, the judge. Oh, you gotta start with the feels. Oh, yeah, I just want to point out, I love that this game allows for controllers. I wasn't expecting that, and that's sick. Oh, I accidentally clicked it. Well, I didn't need to know that anyways. <laughs> game is best experienced in windowed mode. Closing a game will pr save your progress. This game also auto saves after some key events. So I don't have to save myself, if I recall. Because the original version that I I played it was a one and done kind of thing and if you close the game it was over thus the name one shot but this one's actually different in that sense i do like that because it makes it easier to record best experienced in windowed mode i don't i don't understand why that is so you guys tell me in the comments below is this kind of like doki doki where there's some hello there how's it going nico uh some stuff that happens off screen that i need to know of because if so let me know so i can change my settings for the next episode da -da -da. uh hello Oh my gosh, it's so nice to play another RPG Maker game. Oh, Sprint is the same thing, fantastic. I'm guessing controls are pretty similar. There's a TV remote here. Nico picks it up. Hooray! Not a TV, but I got a little computer here. Input password. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's three, three. All right, never mind. Access denied. Well, a good thing, too. Oh, an actual working mirror? That's kind of wild. I'm curious how they work uh, set this up. The thing I find super interesting about games, especially old ones, is that they don't have real reflections. So what I actually have is there's just a second Nico behind a mirror, and that's just so cheeky. A withered plant sits here, stiff and dry. A branch snaps off. Oh, cool, thanks. I'll take that with me. Water in the toilet. Well, this place is dark and decrepit. What happened here? See, the more that I think about it, I don't know if I even actually ever finished one shot. I think I got like a small bit through it and that was it. Clips to face a remote. All the numbers except 8124 missing. Oh, okay, sweet. There we go, fantastic. Blue one, yellow two, red four. There we go. 1842. That's when Columbus did some shit. <laughs> Access granted. Ooh. Ooh, fun! Now we're on a computer on a computer! Dot dot dot. Okay. You found me. Why? You're already too late. Not much of the world remains. This will be apparent once you go outside. This place was never worth saving. Do you still want to try? Not sure why the hell not. I got like an hour or so. Then remember this. Your actions here will affect Nico. Your mission is to help Nico leave. And most importantly, you only have one shot, Cody. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. Now I'm really remembering this shit. Give me one second. I'm going to change my settings because I think this is exactly what it was talking about. Okay, I'm back. There we go. Yeah, so now I'll have it like this so we can actually see everything together. Nico hears the sound of a door unlock. Okay, so I know I can just click that and it goes back to full screen. Does that fix it? Okay, yeah, 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 that does. Now I'll be back and you guys can see this. Cool. Not exactly sure how much of a difference it'll make, but I thought it'd be a good idea just to be able to do this either way, you know? Hello? Anyone? TV gives off a dangerous looking spark. Yeah, we should probably stay away from that. Wood in the fireplace looks like it's never been used. Perhaps it can be lit. Sink will turn on. Inside the refrigerator is a bottle of alcohol. Hell yeah, Nico! Let's get destroyed tonight! A very weird key. Let's combine these two. Dips it in there. Yeah, there we go. Oh wait, hold on. I can get a spark on this. So let me try combining this here. Ready's the branch. Ah! Now I have fire! Wait, why is it blue? Ooh, nice. Something on the ground glimmers in the firelight. It appears to be a small metallic object wedged in a crack in the floor. Nico digs it out. What'd you get us, Nico? Oh, basement key. This is a basement? What a weird basement. Oh, no, we're going to the basement. Oh, no, not stairs. Amori, run! <laughs> Can I run? Oh, there's a light bulb. Hello, Mr. Lightbulb. You and I, we're gonna be bestest of friends. I just promise you that. Oh, that actually flashbanged me. And thus, light has been brought into this world. Now, Nico, would you like to share with the class what you brought today? I brought light. 
Oh, wow. Well, this is nice. It just describes and shows me how horrible this place looks. But either way, can I put the light bulb here? Oh, yeah, I can. Fantastic. Question mark. Wait, where am I? I don't believe whatever I just went through correlates with how I am here. But either way, okay. <laughs> oh, man. I will say one thing. This game has an adorable little art style to it. And that's one thing I do remember for sure. Fast travel. You can quickly travel to locations you have already visited. Okay, nice. Hey there, little guy. Robot no longer has power. Okay, seems like I can go up or down. Let's go up. Oh, whoa, it just got really dark. Hello there. Did I just... Oh, I must have teleported to a new location. Okay, interesting. That's a cheeky way of doing that. Oh, he actually found somebody. Um, hello? Da -da -da. Oh, he's not alive. Okay, we need to get him power somehow. Perhaps in here, there's a nice little pipe I can use. This bed probably looks familiar to you, Cody. Nico's first woke up in this world here. It's important that you allow Nico to sleep once in a while. The game will exit automatically and can be continued later. Don't be alarmed. But now is no time for rest. Okay, so that's a way of saving. Gotcha, gotcha. Interesting. Ugh, this place is horrible. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I just love these moon pools. Like, these little areas just make me really want to jump in and just probably die, but it'll be great till before that. I'm actually really happy I decided to play this game all of a sudden now, because it is one of those, like, great RPG Maker games out there. One of the newer ones, yeah, but I think this is probably one of the most memorable, due to the fact that it just was different than a lot of other games out there at the time, especially upon its original release. I have also thought about playing certain games like Eve just because we walk down memory lane, but I'm not sure. Oh, hey, you're alive, hey! Uh, that light bulb. We are here. Uh, me? Yes. Welcome to our world, friend. I am most humbled by your presence. Yes. Uh, thanks. Sorry, I'm a little lost. Uh, right. Allow me to explain some things. May I first ask how you arrived here? I'm not sure. I woke up in this weird house. It was really dark. Oh! So you woke up in an unfamiliar, dark location. Mm-hmm. Just as the prophecy foretold, yes. This voice is gonna get so old so quickly. You are the savior we have been waiting for. You will be the one to save our world from eternal darkness. <laughs> it will spin, aw. I will now provide you with vital information. Please ask me anything. Ah, well, can you tell me about... First off, this world. I'd like to know a little bit more about this world. I'm not sure where I am exactly. I, I can't see too far off. Everything's so dark. Our world has not always been this dim. Nor was it broken. But time waits for nobody, not even saviors. The world is divided in three regions. You're on the fringe right now, the barrens. That tower you see in the distance one held our sun. Oh, so that's what that tall thing was. As you go further towards the center, you will cross the other regions. There should be a map still in this notebook somewhere. Oh, can you tell me about eeny, meeny, miny? Let's go, light bulb. I found it in the house I woke up in. Within your hands is our new son. Your son? Yes, yes. Years ago, our previous son atop that tower and spilled its life on it into the land, but one day, the light went out. Oh. The world is still hanging on by a thread. The surface of this abundant with an element called phosphor. Fortunately for us, this element stored light energy from our previous sun. It's now our only source of illumination, but its energy is finite. When the last of the light dies, our world will too. Ah, but now that you are here with us with new sun, all is well. You will need to restore it to the tower. That looks pretty far off. Yes, so begins your pilgrimage. Also, the sun is very fragile, so be careful. If the sun shatters, the world will end in an instant. Oh, that is so much pressure to put on a single being so quickly. <laughs> like seriously, Nico just wakes up like, where am I? Oh, this cool light bulb. This light bulb is your son? Oh, if it breaks, we're all dead. Gotcha. <laughs> Can you tell me about the computer? In the house, I found the computer. It kept saying stuff like, your actions will affect Nico. But I'm Nico. Are those messages meant for someone else? Hmm, I wonder. I love the fact that it looks like he's looking directly at us when he says that. If I had to guess, they might be trying to pass the message to Cody. 
Cody. Yeah, that would be our god. <laughs> yes, I am your god, Sir Dapper the <laughs> Second. It feels wrong saying Cody. I'm just gonna keep saying Dapper now. That means Dapper is here also. Dapper will provide guidance for your journey. In fact, they have already have. Really? I haven't seen anyone though. Have you not contacted Dapper yet? I don't think so. Being the bringer of our son, you have the sacred ability to communicate directly with Dapper. An ability that no one else possesses. Certainly not. Please close your eyes and focus. Alright. Uh, hello? Dapper, are you there? That is not my name. Oh. Oh. Well, what is your name then? Okay, cool, so I can change this, cool. Typically, I personally prefer using Dapper now when I play games. It's just I'm so used to it, and, and just because of the fact of the YouTube stuff, that it feels wrong hearing my actual name. It's like an alter ego in a way. <laughs> nice to meet you, Dapper. That's more like it. My name is Nico. I actually heard someone. They said their name is Dapper, though. This is incredible. It seems that the recorded name was incorrect. Stop looking at me. Updating database. Hmm? Update complete. Do not be afraid to ask Dapper for assistance. You are the messiah after all. Can you tell me about... I guess all that's left is ask about how, get to, how to get home, Nico. Oh, I don't mean to be rude, but I'm not sure about this. I still don't know how I got here. I was just with my mama a few hours ago, and now it feels like I'm in a bad dream. I just want to go home. Da -da -da. Your mission is to save our world, just as my mission is to tell you about our world. I am unable to help me you beyond my programming. I am sorry. Oh, I think that's all I have to ask for now. Excellent. I wish you luck. Oh, we may have not found you a way to go home, Nico, but we found some vital information, so that's good. This is over here. It's nice and glowy. I want it. This box looks interesting. Wish I had something to pry it open. Got a metal rod earlier. You only use that. Pipe won't fit under the cracks, Dapper. Damn it. You'll need to flatten it somehow. Hmm, good point. Okay, but that doesn't mean that the pipe is wrong. We just have to do something first. Five new positions available at the mines. Housing and other provisions are included upon hiring. First come, first serve. Paper is faded with ink. Able to provide power to all the robots and machinery in the area via large electromagnetic field. Maintenance efforts are quite high as expected. We provided customized backup cells for the few most important robots. Their electromagnetic fields are much weaker and the signals are highly specific. In other words, these small cells can only charge one single. The rest of the page is unreadable. Big machine doesn't seem to be doing anything though. Yeah, there's a rectangle shaped hole in the middle. Looks like something could fit in here. There are a lot of small glowing shrimp swimming in the jar. What is this? Some sort of small machine. I wonder what it does. You can feel my hair standing up a little. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to do that. Dapper, I'm not going to smash the sun. I did not. <laughs> I got an achievement called Chaotic Evil. <laughs> One, a robot may not injure a living person or through an action allow a person to come to harm. A robot must obey the orders given to it by people, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. Number three, a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. Oh, we got a little map now. Okay, so we're in the Barrens, and then there's the Glen and the Ref, along with the tower being in the middle, of course. Okay, what's in here? Ooh, the music changed. I don't know how I feel about that. Wait, there's pressing machines here. Oh, hell yeah, we could probably use this. Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, do you want me to crush the pipe here, Dapper? Oh, but I don't want to get too close. That was scary. Ah, oh, so we got a squish. Oh, we got a crowbar. Heck yeah. There we go. Easy peasy. Making baby progress. Okay, let's see. Do this. I'm guessing that this has a power source in it. A little metal cube and some broken glass in here. Looks like what used to be a machine part. It says solar battery on the side. Ah, there we go. Oh, whoopsie daisy. There's no power in it. Okay, crud. I don't think we can do anything else here, Dapper. It feels like we're on the right track, though. Hello again. There are more questions you wish to ask. Yes. Go on, ask away. Can you tell me about the Barrens? It's so empty here. That's why it's called the Barrens. Are there any other living people around here? Besides the robots, I mean. I do not know. I was not built to wander. Not built to 
So, you just stand here? Must be boring. Do you at least have friends? Robot friends? I cannot desire companionship. I have not been tamed. Not tamed? There was no time. I see. Okay, so I'm a little, a little bit of a loss right now. But then again, there's probably other areas I can explore, so let me do that first. Ooh, what is this? A metal safe. It seems like it's locked with a six-digit code. I don't remember seeing any six-digit codes. Do you, Dapper? Okay, maybe it's on one of these pieces of paper randomly sprawled about. A torn page faded with ink. With the mining operation going smoothly, materials are no longer our limiting factor. We will be able to build more resilient robots both in body and mind. Specifically, the discovery of metal alloy 291, keep that in mind, will likely allow the development of highly efficient circuitry. K291, gotcha, gotcha. I'm guessing that there's another piece of paper around here. Oh, would you look at that? The sun will not return, and the abyss is calling my name. I'm sorry, everyone, for choosing to leave before the darkness suffocates us all. Dot dot dot. Damn. Well, that wasn't very productive. Okay, cool. Oh lord, this place is quite vast. I could get myself confused and get stuck somewhere. Hey, a person! Oh, the light bulb. So, are you the messiah? That's what I've been told. I expected someone taller. Or at least someone that doesn't look like a kid. That's what you are, right? Some sort of cat? Nuh-uh. I'm a person. You got the eyes of a cat. But cats walk on four legs. Well, either way. A child like you being the messiah just doesn't feel right. But the robot back there said that there's no mistake. This is going to be sound cold, but... I honestly think you're better off just leaving and letting the world die naturally. The world has been falling apart for a long time. This manner of decay, it's highly improbable that the sun can fix it. You've already seen how bad it can get, right? We haven't seen much of anything, actually. And we can't really just leave. Oh, so you just got here. Then you must be headed towards the tower. Mm-hmm. It's where I'm supposed to put the light bulb, or sun, isn't it? Yes, at the very top. We know that the tower contains a force that nobody could comprehend. And the power is strongest at the summit. Maybe we'll send you back home after you complete your mission. Oh! Don't take my word for it, though. Something is poking out of the shelf. It's a screwdriver. You can take that if you want. It may help. Oh, are you sure? Yes, I have many. Thank you. Can I use that on this? Okay, combine those. Damn it, never mind. <laughs> Please do not touch that. Oh, sorry, I was just curious. What is this thing? Backup power cell. It keeps me functional. Oh, so you're a robot as well. Okay. The main generator for the Baron ran out of power some time ago. It could not even last a week without the sun. Sorry to hear that. All we can do is make use of the light we have. Let's chat a little bit, actually. What's inside the tower? I don't know. Nobody's ever entered it before. At least nobody history knows. Then, who built it? Built? As far as anyone can tell, it's been there since the beginning of time. I know someone who wanted to study it before, the, but... He never told me if it went anywhere. Okay, okay, we're meeting a lot of different people. Interesting. What's in here? Wait! I saw you headed towards this direction. The mines have been abandoned for a long time. I cannot guarantee that it's safe. If you must enter, it is my duty to accompany you at least once. Oh, thanks! There's a little gadget on the grounds. It looks kind of like a camera. What's left of a camera, anyway? Probably even part of a robot at one point. Oh. <laughs> or not, I don't know. Large screw and lens. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So maybe I can unscrew that. Screwdriver to pull out the lens. Okay. Done. Now we have a lens. Lens pops right in. Okay, cool. We're making slight progress. Okay, we're using the sun as a direct battery. Good thinking, Dapper. Oh, uh, looks like it's already fully charged. Hey, there we go. That was fast. Okay, fantastic, now we have power. Let's check this out before we go back real quick. Because we need to go back that way anyways once we get done. I can see a faint yellow glow in the distance. Don't stand so close to the edge. Oh, sorry. Looks like even the entrance tunnel collapsed off. Without a vehicle, we can't proceed. Can't we walk? I can. But for you, it's a safety violation. I won't allow it. What's ahead anyways? It's a huge network of underground mines, the source of this world's metal and non phosphor fuel. This is what propelled the world into the industrial age. So now it's lost forever. It's been for a while now. 
When the sun went out, the mines were the first to abandon amidst the initial panic. Even the robots have been all cleared and repurposed. That makes sense. Though, there was one that always insisted going back. Oh? I hope he's okay. Okay, fantastic. Great, now we have a little battery that we can use. Okay, so I know that we saw that one guy earlier on the boat. I'm pretty sure that's the way you get back. Oh, there's smoke up here. Go back, go back. Dad, there's something in the air here. It hurts to breathe. Yeah, get back, you silly little Nico. Well, all things considered, honestly, I feel like you and I make a pretty good team so far, Nico. I mean, you lugging me around in your head while you do all the work, it's pretty nice. Okay, let's get this charged battery in here. I'm excited to see how this goes. Let's hope the charged battery does something. Gonna power this place up. Ooh, all the freaking robots are alive. Hey, I am functional. Did you power the generator? I guess I we did. Right, Zapper? Okay, let's see what's on this little laptop. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh, okay. Yeah, it uh re it changed out into full screen. I see you've made progress in this world, Zapper. But that progress stops here. I believe you need a code to unlock a certain box. Yes, actually, it's a six-digit code. How'd you know? Well, the code no longer in exists in this world. Do you understand what this means, Dapper? Yes, I do. <laughs> Good, start looking. Oh, I fucking love this! I love games like this! Okay, the first thing that comes to mind is probably the actual directory for this game. Let's go there. Oh! Uh, hello there. Dear I have left you a journal, part of a written in a language that Read it and you will know what to do. I have also left you a mask because... Okay, the rest is scribble knots. Okay, 707063. Okay, 707063. Fantastic. 707063. There we go. Whoa, it worked! Wait, how did you know the code zapper? I still don't remember seeing one. Uh, I had some help. Really? From who? <laughs> don't worry about it, man. <laughs> okay. What's in the safe, Nico? Oh, right. Let's see. Ah, I found a gas mask. Also, there's a weird-looking book. I can't read it, though. Not that I can't read anything or anything, because I can. I just don't know what this language is. Uh, oh, what is that? That's weird. Hey, are you powered by chance now? Oh, he is. Cool. I am functional. Was it who, you who fixed the generator? Well, Dapper helps me. But yeah. Hello, nice to meet you. I am robot th number 310. Would you like to, me to take you somewhere? Da 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 da. <laughs> uh, are you okay? I cannot move. <laughs> Well, you're still pretty rusty. That is true. Hold on. Dapper and I will find a way to help you. I should be fine with this mask on. Okay, there we go. Fantastic. Now we can actually explore these areas. Oh, there's a bubble here. Pond sure looks different. The water looks like jelly. It's formed a bubble over the surface of the pond. The sky is dark. That it is. Do you know when the sun will be back up? We're working on it. Glad that Nico's all just gung-ho of going on this massive freaking quest with me. This vent is on the ground. All the others are taller than me. Initially, the amount of noxious fumes emitted by the natural gas vents caught uh, our team off guard. Thank goodness the medical team reacted quickly as they did. Despite its failures, the first expedition did bring up some interesting observations about the Barrens. We found that there's not one, but two such vent zones. With fumes being pumped out at such high concentrations, it seems a miracle that the gas hasn't spread anywhere else. Our biologists concluded that phosphor shrimp in the crater pools were actively consuming the gas. The shrimp in the ocean also prevent the gas from wafting off into the glen. If that's the case, then we owe a lot to these little guys. Yeah, that explains why they're in little bottles. And they get to be a good source of light. Shrimps really be out here eating that gas. <laughs> oh, we're past that little smoky area. What's up here now? Hello, Mr. Robot. Hello, do you need any help? I'm good, thanks. <laughs> well, what a nice guy. <laughs> Evacuation? At such short notice? I can't believe this. First the sun dies, now I'm out of a job. That is one long ladder. Okay, fair enough. I'm scared of ladders. Oh, oh, well, never mind. I guess we're not going up that, that's for sure. Are we gonna have to make you face your fears like an Omori? Gosh dang it, what is this weird thing? Infirmary. Oh, it's a sign! That's odd. Hello, robot. Hello, person of organic makeup. Welcome to the infirmary. Scanning for injuries. Um... Scan complete. Injuries detected. None. Treatment required. None. You are good to go. Er, thanks? 
It's a box of medical tools. Most of them are broken or rusted beyond use, but this plastic syringe seems to be okay. Okay, so we have a light bulb, an empty bottle, an empty syringe, a crowbar, a strange journal, and a gas mask. So if I had to put this together, there's an alcoholic here who's drinking and decided to do some drugs, then bang somebody upside the head with a crowbar, and then proceeded to read Latin. I don't know. All while doing a nasty fart. I have no idea where any of this stuff needs to go. Oh no. I remember being taught in school about how the water surrounding the forest stretched until the boundaries of space, but at some point the prehistoric oceans receded, forming what is now the Barrens. I wonder where all that water went. Interesting. Interesting. Got another lower room in here. How you doing Mr. Watt? Checking, checking. Terminal does not respawn. This is a problem. I think I might know what the problem is. This place is massive. Way bigger than I expected. Looks like they're evacuating the few tamed robots we have here. Makes sense. No point in keeping them in the Baron if all of the people are already gone. Define tamed. Does that mean that they have the ability to actually have companionship? Is that what tamed means? I wonder if the engineer is going to. Apparently phase one of the evacuation ended prematurely. The big ship started malfunctioning only after a few round trips. They said it was due to something with squares? I'm not sure what they mean by that. Maybe that's the glitches we saw earlier. Bummer. Looks like they won't be able to transport most of these surplus bots to the city at this rate. We worked so hard on those. But I suppose robots are busy enough with transporting people as is. I think it's going to be our turn soon. Okay. How's it going, extra large chunker? Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Um... A living person such as yourself should be evacuated this place long ago. Oh, but I just got here. To this world, I mean. See? I have the sun. Oh, the Messiah. I do not know what to say. Reading you was not part of my programming. Have you spoken to ProfitBot? I think so, yeah. ProfitBot was built with the sole purpose of greeting you. Really? Yes, we cannot speak with anyone else. At least not with these. Oh, that's kind of sad. What are you built for then? My purpose is to guard this settlement. Even though the residents have long gone, I must remain. Ah, why though? I have not been tamed. Tamed? I was not worth the effort. Well, that's kind of sad and depressing shit. There's something weird about the robots who get sent to the weird near the gas fields. They appear to accumulate rust at a much lower rate than the others. A few who work directly with the gas harvesting look practically new. Is that a result of the atmosphere? Or am I just seeing things? That's interesting. Huh. So, deadly to humans, not so much to bots. Cool. Ooh, item, item. Gimme, gimme. A pair of rubber gloves. They're a bit heavy. Those designed to prevent chemical damage. Huh. Can I overstate the importance of cleaning solvents in this environment? Here's a simple recipe using alternative me method discussed in last chapter, utilizing natural properties of blue phosphor. Acidic gas, blue phosphor, rare form. Instructions. In a well-ventilated area, direct the gas into your container of choice. Seal immediately. That's the end of the page. Okay, so maybe I can use this to get the gas, and I can use this to get the phosphor. Is that a pro choice? Like, can I do that, maybe? Oh, yeah, right, because there's the... Uh, there was the one gas vent that was in my height, so I could actually get to it. Ooh, let me see if I can use this crowbar. Good thing I kept this crowbar. Hey, cool, fantastic. Man, the, I love this actually so far, because it really isn't much of like a story or characters I have to talk to. It's more about the fact of exploration and a little bit of puzzle work. What a workout. <laughs> Look at all these robots. Without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the container. Shake vigorously to initiate reaction. Use as soon as possible. Note, if element begins to separate, further shaking is required. Also note, hand protection is critical after this step. Resulting acid is moderately stronger than common household cleaners. I don't know what half of these words mean. It's a good thing you're here, Dapper. I thought you said you could read. How dare you lie to me. Cleaning sponge with a rough surface. Oh, okay, it's all coming together. First things first, we gotta get some gas, so let's go back to that one area. Then we need to go to get some phosphor as well. Okay, so these pools don't work. It did say rare blue, so maybe I need to look around to see if there's any sort of, like, special blue shrimp around? Oh, I don't exactly know where to begin with that, so let's first start off by getting this gas. Okay, I think it's over here? I might be wrong. Yeah, because there's the bubble, and then we went up from there, if I recall. Uh, I recalled incorrectly. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me try this. 
So, you're- we're filling up the syringe dapper? I guess it's kind of like a funnel. But the liquid might be a little too thick to fit in the needle. Hey, it actually went in! Oh, so this was the blue liquid that we needed. Okay, interesting. Fantastic. Okay, there you are. I guess you want me to fill the bottle with this gas dapper? That ought to do it. Fantastic. Now we can... Let's get out of this area first. Okay, so first and foremost, can I put the gloves on? I'll wear them when I have to. Never mind. So let's put these two together. I should inject the liquid through the cork, right, dapper? It's like I'm a doctor. <laughs> Oh, I should probably shake this too. It changed color. There we go, bottle of acid. Great, we made acid. Let's trip, boys. Okay, that's awesome. So we have the bottle of acid, which I'm guessing is that we can use it on him now. But I think that'll have to wait till the next episode. After all, we got a tired little baby boy that needs a nappy. A little tired of walking, huh? Well, I got you, buddy. Let's take a nice nap and a good break. <sighs> I think that's a great place to wrap it up for this episode. We'll see what happens actually to the robot later. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope that you did enjoy. Thank you for the recommendation. I think this is going to be a great little short series. Tell me what you think of it so far. Maybe there's something I missed that I need to know about. Anything, honestly. Just leave a comment below. But honestly, at the end of the day, all I can ask is that you have a wonderful night tonight. And as always, stay dapper.